Karen McGregor is a best-selling author, international speaker, coach, trainer, and founder and CEO of the Speaker Success Formula. Going through a divorce, having lawyers tell me, Karen, you have to go back and get a real job. This speaking and writing books business is not working for you. Just go back and get a job. Her proven method helps entrepreneurs create, structure, and deliver compelling presentations to monetize their expertise and launch successful speaking businesses. But her journey to success wasn't easy. It began as a necessity to provide for her family after a divorce. And so I have a really soft spot in my heart for people who do have a great message, they do have a great product, and they're not able to make it. And so that is my mission now, to be able to help those people. Karen struggled to make a living from her speaking engagements at first, but eventually proved them wrong after developing her own system for monetizing her message. And so combining the systematic with the intuitive and being vulnerable, being raw, and merging those together is really what I consider my sweet spot. Karen has appeared on stage alongside some of the greatest thought leaders and speakers in the world, including Deepak Chopra, Michael Beckwith, David Wolf, and Laura Langmire. You see, my kids, one of the things that I'm most proud of is that they saw where I was at in the beginning, and now they're able to see that mom didn't listen to those naysayers and now we have this amazing rocking business that serves hundreds and thousands of people all over the world. Karen is a premier monetization specialist who is dedicated to helping conscious entrepreneurs spread their message, sell their products and services, and transition into successful heart-selling entrepreneurs. Please welcome Karen McGregor. Thank you. Wow, what a beautiful full room this is today. Are you excited to be here? <laughs> awesome. Sharla, I just want to, before I start, say thank you so much for having us here for such an inspiring start to the day. And I, I want to connect what Sharla said to speaking and to making money speaking because they seem to be so disparate. And yet, what I have noticed is that people who are able to, uh, to monetize their speaking, to be able to get out there and share their message, and to live life on their own terms, actually have more capacity to give. They have more time to give. They um, do more amazing projects like Sharla has. And so what I'm gonna share with you today is really um, a type of speaking that whether you are just out there to spread a message or whether you are there to uh, grow your business and, and live life on your own terms, it really is today what I'd like to share with you is a way to make this possible where you're making a difference to thousands of people and yet you're still uh, earning the income of your dreams. Does that make sense? Yes? All right. So. We'll get started. The first thing is, when you look at speaking, uh, many of you may think, well, I just want to inspire, I want to motivate, or I want to share a message. Um, but one of the greatest ways that you can make a long-term impact in your speaking is to be able to sell a product, program, or service to people. And the reason you want to do that is because most of us will hear a 20, a 60-minute talk, and we will go home and feel good for about 24 hours or less. Would you agree? And the impact of that one talk is very minimal. However, think about this. If somebody could go away having their life changed because you have developed something that is a legacy, something that makes a difference to those people on a very deep level, then, you know, your footprint on this earth has been well worthwhile. Um, my former partner, his, his son passed away suddenly three years ago at the age of 18, and it taught me that we really don't know, right? We don't know when our last day is, and to make that time that you have on this earth a legacy, and that, that's really what I'm all about and why I'm here to spread this message with you. 
Um, I come from a very small town in northern Alberta and it was so small that nobody had any big dreams. Anybody here <laughs> from a town like that? It was not common to think big and I didn't think big and so when I see myself on these pictures, you know, in front of a thousand people or more and with these people, some of whom you might recognize, Deepak Chopra, Brendan Burchard, Laura Langmire, Marcy Shymoff, Dennis Waitley, um, these people I never would have dreamed of being on the stage with, ever. It wasn't something that was even in the realm of possibility. But what I want to share with you today is that they are change makers and so are we. Every single woman here is a change maker. It's difficult to make that change without having a voice, would you agree? So if anyone here is thinking, oh, I'm scared to speak, <laughs> I'm going to talk to that, I'll address that, because one of the greatest ways we can make change is by using our voice. So, for those of you that are wondering about how to actually monetize your speaking while making this impactful change, um, one of the things you have to know is that speaking opportunities are everywhere. Everywhere. So people often ask me, Karen, but how do I get on a stage? Well, first of all, you do have to know what you're doing, and you do have to have a well-structured, well-designed, inspiring talk that educates. But a lot of people say, you know, do I have to be good? And my answer to you is, no. You don't have to be good. You do have to have a system, and you will get good with the system. All right, so you can go out there and speak with absolutely little or no money everywhere in the lower mainland here. There are multiple places to speak. Make a difference with your message. The other thing about speaking that many of you may have thought of, but perhaps not, is that it's highly duplicatable. So the thing about nowadays is that you can have a wonderful talk like this. And by the way, all of these talks are being videotaped. You can get out there and have your, your, your entire talk put out to the world. I'm going to be on a TEDx stage on March 3rd in Vancouver speaking at TEDx Stanley Park. There's 2,800 people there, but people always say, oh, are you scared to speak in front of 2,800? No, I'm scared of the video where people are going to be watching by the millions, right? Um, so, really, we have this opportunity nowadays that we never had before, which is to become global with our message. The other thing about why speaking is a high return on your investment is that, as, as I said, global reach. Uh, this lady here um, is a client of mine, so I help people with their TED Talks as well. And she was scared of speaking in front of those 300 people, but when you have a system, your, your fears start to go down because you can rely on the results. You know uh, what the results will be instead of guessing. Okay, from one to one to one to many. Here's the big thing. If you look around the room and you had to share your message or sell your product, program, and service, and you had to have a date with every woman in this room, individually, how long would it take? Anybody? Months, right? If not a whole year, like look at how many people are in the room. So how long does it take to have one powerful talk? An hour or less, right? So look at how you can leverage your time. Um, I uh, am a single mom and I have for the last 11 years, I guess it is, uh, been on my own. And I don't have time between my aging mother and my two teenage guys who eat every two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to leverage my time through speaking. Um, so in case any of you are wondering, I'll go through this very quickly because I know that some of you are more interested in speaking for your message. But if you're interested in earning income, here's what this might look like. 80% of the talks you do, you'll be allowed to sell something. By the way, th that is not the case today. 
so you can relax. Um, but 10% of your audience, if you just had 30 people in the audience and 80% of the time you're allowed to sell and you have a $1,000 program, that's $3,000. If you had your ideal audience, which would be 20% of the people, let's say 40, that's $8,000. If you do that only twice a month, that's $11,000, which equals $132,000 a year. Now, if you say, Karen, I can only do this because I, I have a $500 program product service, that's it. Well, would you like to speak twice a month and earn an extra $66,000 a year? Most people would, right? So think about that. It is, a, um, it is a way for you to build your message, build your database, but also directly sell, as I said, to 80% of the rooms that you'll be in. So if all of these good things are possible through speaking, and by the way, the very best reason to speak if you have a nonprofit like Sharla, um, is you, you'll raise a lot of funds if you're good at it, a lot. And that can be your legacy as well. Now, why aren't people doing it? Because they're scared to speak on stage, they're scared of rejection, they're scared of what people will think of them. But here's the thing, it's not actually the biggest fear. From all of the entrepreneurs that I work with over the last 10 years, the biggest fear is not knowing what's coming out of their mouth next. Think about that. And maybe you're sitting there thinking, well, but I'm really a perfectionist. I will know what's coming out of my mouth next. Here's the question. You may know what's coming out of your mouth next, but do you know the results? And that's the question. If you know every single time you speak that you will have a certain result, right? Would you do it more often? Would you be less afraid, yes or no? Yeah. So, it's all in the system. Look at the person next to you and say, it's all in the system, baby. <laughs> right? So, uh, I'm gonna give you a short version of why I'm up here today. Um, as I told you, I, I did go through a divorce and the day that my husband moved out of, our, uh, out of our family home was the day my life changed forever. Um, his truck, his moving truck was backing out of the driveway. And anybody have a trauma where you just remember a certain image and that's what the whole trauma represents? Well, that, it was the moving truck. And at that moment, looking out my window, seeing this, after 14 years together, it was surreal. And the next day, two lawyers on either side of me said, Karen, go back and get a real job. You have your master's in education, for God's sake. Enough of this speaking and selling books business. It's not making you any money. Go back and get a real job. Well, fortunately, a uh, moment of grace, I had a call uh, from somebody in Calgary who was doing an event here in Vancouver, and he said, we need a couple local speakers. There's going to be 3,000 people in the room. Can you speak? And what do you think I said? Yes, right? <laughs> I have made it. This is the start of my business exploding and making a difference. Um, but I did make one really big mistake. And the mistake was that I focused on getting to be a better speaker instead of getting to be a better businesswoman. So I had no idea that a talk had systems in which to grow a business. And so that 3,000 person opportunity, and by the way, they were all my peeps. I used to teach people how to become more intuitive and intuition training. And they were all like spiritual type woo-woo people, 3,000 of them, right? Deepak Chopra was the headliner. And, uh, and uh, unfortunately, you know, the, the, the biggest mistake I made was just not knowing how to grow my business from that talk. I had 45 minutes on that stage and I had a table for the entire day. I didn't know. So these are my two kids. And uh, they're actually a lot bigger now. You ever see a 14-year-old to a 16-year-old? It's like he's a little guy there and now he's a gorilla. 
How does that happen in two years? I don't know. Anyways. Um, but they asked me, you know, how did it go, Mom? And I said, well, I, uh, and then I paused. And I, I was just about to say, I have to go back and get a job. And uh, this lioness inside of me, God knows where she came from, said, guys, our lives are going to change forever. And uh, they said, that's nice, Mom. <laughs> and I said, no, 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 you don't understand. Our lives are changing forever. And they did. From that moment on, I made a decision that I was going to learn what it took to be in a real business, to have a talk that could actually produce the results that would allow me to live life on my own terms and to have fun with my kids as well. So just a quick um, result here. Um, I went from earning absolutely no money in speaking to the very first time after learning different systems, putting together my own system, uh, going from zero to $7,000 in 90 minutes, that was like a big win for me. I, I had never seen that much money. My parents, you know, <laughs> they made about $30,000 a year. We were a poor family. And, uh, and, and so this was, this was quite astonishing to me that we could go also from $3,000 in a weekend to $100,000. When I say we, it's always that, that thing like a business. It's me. <laughs> we is me. Yeah, just like Sharla working from home in my pajamas. Um, and here's some good news for all of you. This is a client of mine, her name is Rachel. She teaches people how to be vegan. Okay, how difficult do you think that is to sell? She lives in Calgary. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, Anyways, with some systems, she was able to get to 90% of the people saying yes. Not to her book, by the way. You never want to sell your book. Those of you that have a book, I will share with you later what you do with that. But you never, ever want to sell the book. So she had a package of things that she was selling. Um, is that typical, 90%? No, 10% to 20% is typical. But uh, in this case, I watched her, and it was amazing. So today you're going to learn three mistakes that keep audiences uninterested and unwilling to invest and how to do the opposite. Raise your hand if you want to hear the three mistakes that most people always make when they get up and speak. Yes? Awesome. And the rest of you will just have to sit through it for a few minutes. <laughs> Mistake number three, not understanding what the audience is buying. Here's the thing everybody, write this down if you're taking notes. The number one reason that speakers are boring and not listened to is because they actually don't get why the audience is sitting in their seats. They have a problem and they want to have it solved or they have a challenge and they want to get through it. That's why they've come to hear you speak. If you don't address that right from the get-go and have that as a theme and a thread through your talk, you're not going to get the results that you want. So that's one thing that you have to consider. They're also, you know, they're buying you. It's not just your product. But what are they buying when I say you? Well, the first thing is your story. So um, we'll get to uh, just a little bit about that. Your story does not have to be fantastical. It doesn't have to be you earning lots of degrees either, by the way. You could have no degree and no training, but if you have results, would you agree that people will want to hear from you? Yeah. Yes. So this day and age is about results. It is not about your degree or how many certificates you have or who you worked with. The other thing about story is that people want to know that you've been where they are, yes or no? Yes. So you've got to share that. And don't be shy about the results. Like Sharla said, if we're going to be women who lead, we need to mentor other women about what that looks like to show the way, what that looks like to, to have courage and hope and come through the other side. So share your story. Uh, the other thing is uh, client stories. You know, you want to have some client stories. Now, maybe some of you are thinking, well, I don't have... Uh, clients, I'm just starting my business, or maybe you don't have a business, but you know you've got you've got some people that you're working with. 
even if you're just getting started, you still have people in your life that you've made a difference to in the area that you want to continue making a difference to, yes or no? So get them to have a conversation with you and write that down. Here's an example of a, of a type of client story you might want. Now, most of the people you work with probably are not like you. And here's the thing, you have to show that in your talk. Client stories have to be at least half of them are not like you. Do you think the man on the screen is like me? No, right? He's an accountant. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but he's, he's a little bit shy about being out there and up on the stage. And the fact that he does well now um, shows people in the room, like, if, if he can do it, I can do it. Does this make sense? Right? Okay. So another thing, the so much more story. This is where um, people work with you and they are shocked that you have given them way more than what you promised. Anybody here with, have that experience of someone saying, wow, you just gave me so much more, whether you're a professional or an entrepreneur? Anybody? One per, oh, good. I was worried there. <laughs> We've got a few in the back there too. Don't be shy. Raise your hand nice and, nice and proud. Um, anyway, so Jennifer Hensel, she's from here. She's founder of Connect Now. If you are interested in networking, she's got a all throughout the Lower Mainland, a wonderful um, group of um, entrepreneurs. Anyway, she said uh, that she found more clarity, a new sales stack, and thousands of dollars in extra income through working with me. Now, the last thing I want to share with you is when you share client stories, share the clients that were doubtful that you'd make a difference. Why do you want to do that? Yeah. Because guess what? 20% of the people sitting in your audience are doing this. It's not that they don't like you. It's that they're thinking. How many people, be honest, furrow your brow when you think? Yeah, look, at, look around the room, right? It's about 20%. Those people are um, what I call the discerners in the audience. They will be your biggest raving fans if you show them the way, but that's the thing. You've got to show your other discerning clients that you had discerning clients. This woman didn't think I could do anything for her. And now, bless her heart, she just had her first baby. Uh, but she had a nutrition business, $2,000 program that she sold from the stage, and she had people running up to sign up. And um, she was so excited to tell me that by, on Facebook, right? So I captured that, put it in a testimonial. These are the kinds of things you want to do. Get those doubtful people telling their stories. Okay, mistake number two, becoming the perfect speaker. All right, so what does that mean? It means that we all want to be perfect, but the reality is we should worry less about perfection and more about connection. Look at the people around you. They're real, live human beings with hearts and hopes and desires. This is what speakers need to do. Um, I never worry about being perfect on the stage. I have done the stupidest things, right? And it doesn't matter to me anymore because all I'm concerned about is whether I can connect with you, whether I can make a difference in your life. Does this make sense? Yeah, yeah? it also lowers your stress level, would you agree? Yeah. All right, what do most speakers get stuck in? Perfection, procrastination, and fear of selling. Anyone have a fear of selling in the room? Even a mild discomfort with selling? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so if that's you, um, just know that, again, from the stage, if you've got a system, it's structured, and, and you follow it, you will get consistent results, just like anything else in your life or in your business. Everything is a system. Building a baby, right? That baby growing in your body, it's all a system. Uh, so nature is a system. All right, so here we are. Some of you are over here. You want to be perfect at speaking, that's why you'll never speak, right? Some of you are over here. I am pretty damn good on stage. I'm just going to wing it, right? Because I got pizzazz. I got charisma. People like me. And here's the thing. This person, that's all true, 
but they never get consistent results, and worse yet, they don't know why. Because every time they get up, there's no system, and they do something different. Would you agree? And so that's the danger of winging it. Now, today, at my table, you'll see my table over there, uh, just under that big screen, um, you're all going to get a free gift, and that is I will send you how to get five clients in five minutes through speaking. It's an actual system. Remember, we talked about systems today. It's a system in order to get results when you only have five minutes to speak. So that's your gift today. You can drop off your card or just um, put your name and email address, and I am going to send that to you. The last mistake, number one, we all can educate. We all love well, most of us love <laughs> to educate people and make a difference in their life. But most of us have no plan to sell. And if you are an entrepreneur or even as a professional and you have to sell, you've got to do these, these three things. So number one, looks like George Clooney, kind of have a crush on him, so I put him up there. Because <laughs> I always think, I can help that man. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Okay, so um, <laughs> one clear problem. If you can just define in your talk one clear problem, you will be more advanced than 90% of the speakers out there because most people try to tackle too much. It's like writing your first book. You want to say everything you know, yes? Here's the thing. Say only 10% of what you know in a talk. Because if you say 100%, then you don't know enough yet. Would you agree? You can't say it all. So stick with one thing. The other thing is plan to dismantle the selling a separate myth. And what that is, is um, most people think a talk is separate from their, their offer. And it's absolutely not true. Your talk, as you're going along, oh, this is such a good talk, people are loving me, I am engaging them, yes, and now I have to sell, and I wilt like a snow cone in August, right? <sighs> and everybody says, what happened to that speaker? See, women, a lot of women do that, men do this, right? And they're ready to fight, and they get, they, some of them get really aggressive, Sorry for the stance, but um, that's what happens to all of us. We either go in or we go out and we get aggressive. And so what I want to share with you is that be yourself through the whole thing. And the moment you're yourself is the moment you switch your belief that selling is a part of your talk. It's not separate. You are giving people a, uh, an opportunity to make a difference in their life. And that is what good selling is about. Now, plan to find the right mentor. So whether it's me or someone else, find somebody who can help you craft that message. Um, you know, monetize the message. Get out there and, and inspire people and not be boring. These are, these are interesting things to think about. Now, um, at my table, you're going to find uh, a six CD audio series. It's also online as well. Uh, so you can check that out. The first five people that come to my table today are going to receive a couple of things. So um, we have the six CD audio for $40. You will also, the first five, receive a 30 minute private session with me. And that is my gift to the first five people who really know that this is something you want and you want to have a conversation with me. I do have a $5,000 fee per day. So the, the value of this half hour session is $400. So if you know you want it, go to the back, sign up, and, uh, and I'll see you back there. Thank you so much, everyone. It's been a blessing to be with all of you today. And I look forward to talking to many of you at my table. Thank you.